Okay, here we're looking at the Descript Base 100 number system. This is actually the most practical practical version of all the number systems for Descript. It just was not ready in time for the manual. The other ones are great for dates, times, and artistic purposes. But when you got to deal with numbers, this is the best system to use. Now, just looking at it, it should be pretty intuitive. We're dealing with a simple zero with a dot in the middle. The dot is what makes it unambiguous from our text, like it's not an O or it's not anything else. So, And then we simply start adding something to it. So if we add a line at the top, it becomes 1. If we add a line at the right, it becomes 2. If we add a line at the bottom, it becomes 3, etc. And then, same principles apply from 5 through 8. And then when we get, so this is 6, etc., etc., we get to 9. We can simply add a 9 on the top of it, and that's a 9. Now we get down to our 10s. So we got 10, 20, 30, etc., etc. Then we get up to the, our 5 through 8, 50, 60, continue the pattern, and 90. 90 is the difference between 9 and 90 is 1 is on the top, 1 is on the bottom. Very, very simple. Now these circles can be as big or small as you like. The dot is what indicates what's in this, what's the center of this, or the, the epicenter of this character. So now we know how to do the single number characters, the, and now comes the simple fun of putting them together. So let's try a simple number like, say, 61. Well, we simply grab our 60, which is like so, and we put a 1 to, with it, and we've got 61. Now, as we've seen before up here, we can start to make things cursive. So this is 1, and this can be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then repeat the principle, 5, 6. Very, very simple. So. Now, when we've got two two lines on a character, we sometimes can still make that cursive. So we can go one, two, there. That's an option. If it's not an option, sometimes you can just go like so, if you have to, or whatever ne is necessary. Just make sure that you get your line and your loop. Uh, it can when the both the letters are on, both the numbers are on the same side. So let's try right sided two six. So that would be. As you can see, that's the simplest way to put it together, but the better way, in my mind, would be to simply move this up and put it over here. Boom. 61. Sorry, uh, 26, 26. I forgot to change the number on the page. Um, next, let's look at uh, what happens when you use 1 through 4, though. That can be a problem. So let's try 51 is what we're going to need for this. So this is 50. This is 1. So we could do this. That's an option, as long as this is clearly up and not pointing right. So it would probably be better if it was a little more straight. Or what we could do is something like this. But even better would be to try to do what we did before, where we put our line. But what happens if we connect it? We can't tell. So we simply have to add a little dash. And you could put that dash here, too, if you like. It doesn't matter if it's before or after. But a little dash makes it clear that there was also a 1 hidden in there. 51. Now let's try to do one long number just so we can get a good grip of this. Uh, let's try 3,167,129. Okay, so 29, we've, we need 20 and 9, so we can try to make that pretty by going 29, get that dot in the middle. 71, well, we need our 70, which is a loop on the bottom, and we need our 1. So I should be drawing that up here. And we can make that pretty by going 71. And then 16, so we need a 10, so that's a lightning bolt on the top. And our 6, which is a zig on there. We can put those together, like so. And then we need a 3. Oh, sorry. Let's draw that nicer. And there we have it. Some nice cursive letters, characters. In four characters, you've got the number 3,167,129. Now, of course, the one thing is this does get a little out of sync with our normal way of thinking because it goes 1, it goes 1, 100, 10,000, and then up to 1 million. So, 
what do we see here about this? The interesting thing about Descript, sorry, you can't see all the zeros on the screen there, but that's one million. So the one thing about Descript is it jumps out of sync with us. See, we kind of think here and then in the middle and then here. We think one one thousand, uh, one million. Chinese actually think one ten thousand hundred million. So it jumps it jumps in and out of sync with us and Chinese mentality, to be truthful. But it it'll it's not very hard to adapt to that. I mean, it's a very simple matter of putting two digits together.